Now, you may remember Paul Harvey, who we featured on the programme a few weeks ago. He's a former music teacher and he's living with dementia. He's become an internet sensation after composing a piece of music using just four notes. His performance touched millions of people, including some of his former students who went on to work in the music industry. Breakfast Graham Satchel has been to catch up with Paul for a very special reunion. This is 80-year-old Paul Harvey doing what he loves best. Paul was diagnosed with dementia last year. His memory is slowly deteriorating, but he's found extraordinary solace in the restorative power of music. Dad has good days and bad days. Um, bad days are, can be pretty grim. If Dad's looking a bit distant or feeling depressed, then I try to persuade him to get up and sit, sit at the piano and, and play, and, and it brings him back into the room. Uh, F natural, A, D, B natural. There. A few weeks ago, Nick gave his dad four notes and asked him to improvise a tune. This video has now been watched almost two million times on social media. I, I find it incredible, <laughs> absolutely incredible. I wasn't trying to do a party trick, That's I, I, I can do that sort of thing. And uh, yes, it, was, it just took off, it was ridiculous. It's just, it's got these beautiful harmonies and the whole form of it. I was like, where did this come from? It was, it was written on the spot. You just, it just pulled out of you. So yes, I'm, I'm, I'm in awe of this man. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the first time one of Paul's videos has gone viral. <laughs> this is him laughing with his grandchildren at Alexa, blowing wind. <laughs> Paul is a big man with a big laugh who's had an extraordinary life. Do you recognise this? Ladies and gentlemen, Variety Playhouse. Paul started his career as a concert pianist. This recording is from 1964. I love the printed word, but where the printed word uh, stops, you can't describe anything anymore, music takes over. Uh, because with music, you, you can do whatever you want with it in your mind. And um, that's how I feel about music. I think mu music just carries on at a higher level than the printed word. Yes, Pete. Where? Oh my word, that's a great picture. <laughs> in the 70s, Paul became a teacher. Together with the head of drama, Pete Talman, he wrote and staged a series of school musicals. When I taught, a new class that would come in and they were mumbling, oh, music and all this sort of thing. And I, 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 I sort of looked at them and said, I want you to listen to something. And I started off by playing bum 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 ba dum bum 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 bum. Wow, oh, we know that. What's that, sir? Is it, is it, that, you know what that is, don't you? Yes, yeah, the football theme, you see. And you, you got them. We set up a quick video call with some of Paul's former students. <laughs> hello. hello there. Okay, well, Paul, hello, I'm Dominic, Dominic Glynn. You taught me oh, flipping read about... <laughs> dear, oh dear, I remember you, Dominic. Yeah, sorry about that, yeah. You did uh, the arrangement of something, didn't you, uh, yeah. on television? Doctor Who. Doctor, Doctor you did, did Doctor yeah. Who. There's no way I would be having a career as a composer now if it hadn't have been for you, Paul. You just you just allowed people to use their own, uh, you know, their own route to do music. And, and that's kind of why I felt so encouraged by the way you taught me. 
I don't know if you remember me, Paul. It's a very long time since you've seen me. But my name was Griffiths in those days, Alex Griffiths. Oh, and I, I do. Was in, I run a charity which brings people together through music. So I run a, a choir for people with and without um, communication disabilities. <laughs> It's from from the heart and from the soul. It's not from the brain. It's just it's from somewhere deeper. And, and you brought that to your students. And my name's Nick Eade. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> <laughs> I've got pictures of you with my... We've been looking at pictures of you. So we were so proud of you. Crikey, it was wonderful. You made it so inclusive that kids who were just sitting around, you know, not really doing great academically, would shine on the stage. And I'm, <laughs> I find that pretty emotional myself, you know. You gave people the chance who wouldn't normally have had... Wow, wow. <laughs> oh, yes. It's Pete Talman, your partner in rhyme. <laughs> <laughs> Blow me, Pete. You sit by, by your piano and compose. Uh, dear, oh dear, oh dear. You didn't give me any encouragement whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> And at the end, we'd have something like, where's the sunshine? And it was just a beautiful act of creation. It was, it was a, a wonderful thing to be part of. I'm, I can't tell you what this has meant to me, this speaking to you for. It, uh, it's, it's been very emotional. It's been wonderful to speak to you all. It really has. <laughs> Paul's improvised piece has now been adapted by the BBC Philharmonic Orchestra and will be played for the first time on Sunday. It's fantastic and a, and a superb orchestra playing it. We're living in a very peculiar uh, world at the moment and uh, things aren't good. If it gives people pleasure or move, being moved is pleasure, uh, that's great. Well, isn't that just, it's lovely to listen to, but it's just lovely to watch as well that the effect that he's had over the years on his former students lives. and that relationship between the two. And just Delightful. the joy of him seeing them again and certain memories being triggered. Uh, it's story. worth saying, you hear the first play of Paul's piece adapted by the BBC Philharmonic Orchestra at the BBC Radio 4's Broadcasting House, Sunday at 9am. Worth saying as well, more about Paul's story here on Breakfast on Monday.